Hi everybody. First things first, uh, tomorrow is electrolysis day, so I can't shave, and that means, or put on makeup, and that means tonight, it's the bearded lady. Live with it, people. Live with it. I have to. But more importantly, I wanted to respond again, because I love to, to the Tranny Star Galactica's, you know, subject, which was... What is, you know, about family, where, you know, where does it fit, who is your family, and how does uh, figure out where you sit on the gender spectrum change everything? First of all, um, we've heard a lot about me and my family. And, well, you know, I have a very spotty history with my family. I could go into my dad. And I could go into my mom and all that. First, I want to say it's despite it all. You know, I love them despite it. Despite what most of them have put me through. Even Dad. For some reason, I love him. He's my father. And I love my grandfather, who was my dad's dad. And uh, I inherited my uh, birth name from him. I was the fourth. You could have known me one day long ago as Herbert. And he, that would, and I love the man. He was more of a father than my dad ever was. And uh, he's passed. But I uh, firmly believe that he is one of my guardian spirits. And that he... In both in the in in death he accepts me and I believe in life. He might never have understood this, but I would always know he was there. So even people who are past can be family, I guess. Uh, because everything's happened, my family's been whittled down. Uh, that's good. You know, I'm down to. There are, you know, two real, mem two real members of family, and uh, two who should be and aren't. The should be and aren't, as in in-betweens, my grandfather, who is supportive in the sense that he's not against me, but it's not, he doesn't connect well with people. And he, uh, is not supportive Excuse me. In a way, he should be. I feel guilty at times, but yeah, he has a lot of money. And for a woman who's trying to heal, could help me get uh, out of this. And I'm also hurt that he thinks I would contact him specifically for that. I don't. I would love the help. But I don't, I don't like asking for it. It's not fair. And it's equally not fair. The very first thing he said to me was that he was not going to pay for this. But he's not against it, so long as it makes me happy. So it's, uh, I guess in the end it's a win. It's a little hard figuring it out, but yeah, it's a win. Maybe one day I'll change, maybe one day he won't, but he doesn't hate me. And he does love me, and I love him. My aunt was once like was once my sister in spirit. We're very close in age. Very close. She's in her forties. I'm in my thirties. Very close. Now uh she is a very religious person. I won't say what religion or sect or anything like that, but uh she seems very unsure about me because of this. And she thinks that this is a phase, even now. She does sort of talk to me, does contact me, but she thinks that uh, children, her children can't handle me and probably shouldn't know that about people like me until they're old enough to handle it. You can say, oh, well, I understand that mindset, but, um, 
you know what? No. I can understand that she might might be affected by her own inner bigotries, but uh, I refuse to accept that. I hope one day she passes into full family. Now, we've had all this, like, seriousness, and I still love them. My aunt's a great person, and uh, if she recovers from the silliness, we'll be back. The people on my side. My grandmother. We had many, many rough times. Many. She raised me, though. And after many years of misunderstandings and pain, she's like, she's really, her faith helps me so much. I have the faith of a really wonderful woman helping me out and keeping me going in times when, uh, I don't know if I would, because I did when I didn't have any family, not in contact with anyone. She was the first that I told. She was the first family member I told. She was the most important because she raised me. Best, I still say she had the best reaction. She was honest, and honesty is, I think, the best reaction. She said she didn't understand, and that she was scared for me, and that she couldn't be happy yet. That hurt, but she was honest. She didn't be around the bush or lie to me. Then we talked again, and, you know, she's still scared. She didn't know what to think. And then she said to me that, um, that I was, you know, I was still her grandchild. And she still loved me, and she wasn't going anywhere. She would still support me because she knew I was happy. And now I'm her granddaughter. She fights as hard as she can to figure it out and to... and to be there. And, uh, she worries about me. And someone actually worries about me. The other one is my brother. My older younger brother is in his 20s, or nine years difference. We are incredibly close. He figured me out long before I did. I figured myself out. Never said a word because he respects me too much. He can be very quiet and very private, and he's going through tough times of his own. But, uh, he's, if, when one day, finally get, I get myself out, and, uh, you know, make myself in the world, then uh, we've discussed and we decided we're going uh, to meet the dream wherever it is because we have similar dreams and we make great business partners. We used to be called the Animal Brothers back in the day. Even today, my brother is the only person on the planet who can and who, do, who can, does, and is welcome call me by a uh, male term, calls me bro. I can live with that. I wouldn't, it's just I can't, something I can live with. Bro is okay. Bro is fine. Which I don't know if gender always matters with family. Now then, the other part of family is funny enough you know, as your faith. I actually count some of my toys as family because uh, they mean a lot because I'm an animist, which means I believe everything ha everything has a soul. And thusly, everything is affected by you. And many of my things have been around me forever. Many of these things actually I've had in secreted places for years. They're still with me. And I talk to them. Families also... Um, well, your pets. Esmeralda, my baby snakey snake snake snake, who I brought out because she deserves to be here for family day, is a member of my family. Uh, one moment. 
I know you've seen him mm. before, but oof, come on, you God. Jack Eyes. Yes, Eyes, because you have eyes. Is a member of my family, and an intensely, you know, means a lot to me. I love him very much. And uh, there's another one. Mary! She'll be out here in a minute. No, Mary. Mary. All right. But one time, she's always coming up here. And this is Mary. See Mary? Mary. Mary is Jack's wife. She's called Mary Spots because she had spots when she was a baby. See her? She's a cutie, cutie, babooty. No, oh, land on each other. Uh, I call my plants family, strangely enough. My friends, my friends are my family. And, uh, some of them are as close as, you know, any blood relative. Um, there's some special, there's a special person possibly coming up and they she could be family one day she could be family now and I, and uh, I know that I'm being welcome in with her family so no matter what happens I mean I feel like I've been been welcomed into something and that's a form of family and then there's a final family. I think it, it's a Native American, might be Navajo, I'm not sure, but all my relations, the world. The world and the universe is my family. And uh, so I got all meaningful in this, and cheesy. But yeah, I've been meaningful and cheesy lately. And there you go. Family is everything. Love you all. Bye.